well everyone you love the last video i talked about the iphone 6 and you know how it really is kind of breathing new life into the ios ecosystem and in my life once you jailbreak it and we saw the new uncover jailbreak come out and we saw the, obviously the check range jailbreak has been out for a minute and i figured i might as well showcase to you guys how much of an effect it can have on an older iphone and how much new life it can be breathed into it if that makes any sense when you actually jailbreak an older device now i did that iphone 6 and i talked about how it held up in 2020 i already did that swipe video on it and i made that last video about a re-review and basically what happens when you jailbreak it and how great of an experience you can have with it and all those tweaks and everything and so i wanted to do that same exact thing for my iphone 5s i jailbroke it and i feel like maybe there's some people who are still using it i'm not really too sure but ios support on this thing is still kind of there with ios 12.4.5 or 12.4.6 that we're still on it now and maybe it'll get more software support who knows but I want to showcase some cool little jailbreak tweaks that you can have on your iPhone 5S. And this isn't even the end all be all. Like the ones that I'm going to show you here are probably just the tip of the iceberg. There are tweaks for literally everything and you can modify so much within your phone. But these are the ones that I kind of found that I've kind of been using that I think are most practical for a phone like this. And some of these can be ported over and all of these can be ported over to a bunch of different phones as well. If you have an iPhone 6, you can do it as well on those. Now I will leave all these tweak lists in the description below i'll i think i have the repos with them too but if i don't then maybe i'll put them back in or you can search up the repos online or whatever the case is i forgot to do that on the iphone 6 video but i'm not gonna forget this time i re-added it in the iphone 6 video too but but this one will probably have it already baked in the description so the first tweak that i love about my iphone 5s would definitely be eclipse 4 so there's a bunch of different eclipse apps out there but eclipse 4 is the free model so it pretty much brings dark mode for ios 12 and it's probably one of the most common ios jailbreak tweaks that i've ever seen and whatever i've ever seen like ever every time i would watch those top jailbreak tweak videos from even like 2014 or even earlier all of them would most of the time mention eclipse whenever that thing came out everyone would mention it every single time and everyone was like i can't wait until apple actually brings it into stock ios and they eventually did with ios 13 unfortunately the iphone 5s did not get ios 13 but like i said before you're able to get that type of support with eclipse 4 so basically you install the tweak go into your settings and you have to manually pick each app that you want to have dark mode in so i would pick like settings and the app store and maybe some other apps here and there and from then on out every time i would go use those specific apps those would actually be in dark mode which was really really nice now there is a paid version of Eclipse, which I think is like Eclipse 12 or something like that, which for a lot of people, I think it's, you know, a really good solution. You should definitely do that. It's system wide dark mode, which is really nice, but it is like $1.50 and I just didn't feel like paying for it today because I'm poor. So Eclipse 4 is the free option by those same developers. So it's a little bit more manual, but that is one of my favorite tweaks of the iPhone 5S for sure. And the next one is one that I already mentioned before, and I do like this one a lot. And this one is Modern Dock. And what this allows you to do is get that new dock that's basically on the iPhone 10 and the newer series, the iPhone 11s and all those, and get that for a phone like the iPhone 5S. And it just makes this phone look that much better. It doesn't really bring any functionality or any features or anything, but it just brings that capability of you seeing your phone and making it feel like a little bit of a newer device, which is really nice. And if you have an iPhone 5S, I would kind of recommend it just because it breathes new life into your older device like that. So that one is modern dock. It doesn't bring any functionality, but it just looks a little bit better. Now the third one is also the one that I mentioned in my iPhone 6 video, and this one is called No Slow Animations. And for an older phone, this is a must have. This is a crazy cool feature. And basically what it allows you to do is once you have it enabled all the animations within your phone just speed up by like twice the amount so it kind of makes it feel like you have a newer device when you really don't and i'll give you an example really anytime i would open up the settings or i would go into anything swipe through the pages and stuff it just made this phone feel like almost like an iphone se if i'm being honest so if i would swipe through the pages it was almost instantaneous it was a little choppy here and there but I, I think I'm willing to give up some choppiness here and there to gain some speed and functionality. The best way I can explain it is that to get into the app itself is faster, but the app doesn't move faster if you know what I mean. So it would still take the same amount of time to load. It's just the time from it, you know, getting onto your display and actually showcasing that app, that's what speeds it up. So it's not going to speed up your games or anything like that. It's probably going to be at the same frame rate. But when you click on the game, it's just going to open it faster. So that's one thing that I really do like and, and definitely one of my favorite features of this jailbreak for sure. Now, this next one is called accelerated home button and it pretty much does the exact same thing as no slow animations but what it pretty much does is that for phones with home buttons like the iphone 5s 
whenever you click that home button, it would kind of speed up the process of you actually getting into the home screen. So no slow animations helps you get into the app faster, but the accelerated home button makes you get into the home screen faster. So that is definitely a super cool thing. I mentioned this in my iPhone 6 video too, but for an iPhone 5S, like I said before, it definitely is a must have, especially when you have an older device like this. Now the next one is called Gestures 12, which I also mentioned in the other video. And what this allows you to do is get those iPhone 10, get those iPhone 10s and 11 swiping gestures and all those things on an older device like the iPhone 5S. And I believe I even made a whole separate video talking about this on my second channel about this cool tweak. And it's one of my favorite tweaks ever and it's completely free. I think there's a paid version as well. And sorry, it's not Gestures 12, it's Gestures 10S. I think that's, that's what it's called. Either or, I'll leave a link down in the description. And like I said, it allows you to, you know, swipe up to get into the multitasking panel, swipe up to get out of an app. You can, you know, lean into another app if you want to and swipe between both to get into multitasking between both. And that's definitely one of my favorite features ever. I mean, if I were to jailbreak a device, which I've done a billion times, that is like the first feature I would do to jailbreak it. I mean, that is the first thing I would do. And it's one of my favorite ones for sure. So that one is Gestures 12 or Gestures 10S, whichever one you want. And that is definitely one of my favorite jailbreak tweaks for sure. Now this next one is called Auto Blue. And for an older phone like the iPhone 5S, you know, the battery life might not be the best. You might be running into certain issues here and there. And with a phone like this, you want to, you know, keep it for as long as you want to, especially if it's, you know, still getting software support. So with Auto Blue, what this allows you to do is it'll automatically turn off Wi-Fi and or Bluetooth if it notices that you're not using it for, you know, a certain amount of time. So if you're not using it for, I think it's like an hour, I honestly don't even remember. But if it senses that, you know, you're on a car trip for a, multi for a long period of time or whatever the case is, it'll show you that, oh, it'll automatically turn off the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth if it senses that you haven't been using it for a long time, thus prolonging battery life, which is really nice. And for a phone like an iPhone 5S, you know, it's not the newest phone anymore. It has a lot of faults in its stars, you know what I mean? So I think in terms of the battery life, that one actually helps it out a lot. So that one is auto blue and it's completely free. And that's something that I really do like. Now the next one, like I mentioned it before, bro, you guys have to, you know, force in picture is the best jailbreak tweak right now. It just has to be. You're able to go and just keep your video playing on the side while you're doing other tasks in your life. And it is probably one of the most important tweaks ever. I feel like, you know, there's not a lot of tweaks out there that I say like, oh, you have to go and update this and that. The force in picture one is the one I would highly recommend anybody to download. If you're in the market and if you have to have one jailbreak tweak, it's probably a tie between force and picture and maybe like no slow animation. There's probably a tie between those. But force in picture, what it allows you to do is it gives you that picture in picture thing that, you know, the Macs have, the iPads have, and it allows you to bring that onto your iPhone. And that's a long rumored feature to bring into iPhones. Maybe they'll bring it in iOS 14. But with force in picture, it actually allows you to have that capability, which is amazing. And I literally love seeing that on an iPhone 5s. So that one is force and picture. It's a must have if you have an older phone or even a newer phone. The next one is called Safari Plus. And what this allows you to do is it's pretty much Safari on steroids. It allows you to download videos, you know, allows you to do so many different things. And with iOS 13, it actually brought a lot of capability within the files app, which you don't necessarily have on iOS 12. But with Safari Plus, if you're downloading certain files or if you're doing anything, a combination of Safari Plus and files that can really do you a great favor if you're trying to store a bunch of things on your phone. So that one is Safari Plus and I would recommend you to even download it and just kind of see it for yourself and see the capability behind it. So the next one is called Camera Mode 10. And what this allows you to do is basically it enables portrait mode on older iPhones. And at first I was like, well, like, can it actually work? Will it actually work? And I've done a video about this like a couple months ago and it works and it's really surprising how it does. So basically you install the tweak and it's more or less the same exact portrait mode that you have on an iPhone 8 or whatever the case is. And you're able to just go and use it with that depth effect. Now it's not going to be 100% perfect. It's not going to be like exactly what you expect but for the most part it gets the job done and if you're in a pinch camera mode 10 can definitely do you you know wonders if you really wanted to so if you're trying to get portrait mode on an older device it doesn't have to be an iphone 5s it can be any older iphone that one is probably the better way to go and i really do like camera mode 10 for sure now the last one i want to hit on would definitely be millier or millior whatever the case is this is an app that, you know, with iOS 13, we got that new volume HUD. It basically, you know, if you go up and down in the volume, it allows you to actually go and see the volume itself and control it. And it's not in your face all the time. And with Millier, it actually brings that onto an older phone, like an iPhone 5S, you know, on iOS 12, which we don't have that capability on stock. So if you click the volume up or volume down button, it'll easily let you control it from there, swipe up, swipe down and control the volume that way. You have the ringer switch up there too. So you can turn on the ringer and turn off the ringer, which is really nice. 
But what I can tell you about this tweak is that just like Force and Picture and just like Gesture's 12 and No Slow Animations, it's one of those super important ones. You know, if you want to make your phone feel like you have a newer device, especially with an iPhone 5S, it is very, very important for you to kind of mimic a lot of those features that iOS 13 has. And with Millier, you're able to get that new volume HUD, which is a very, very cool thing. So those are basically all the tweaks I wanted to hit on. I'm sure there's billions of more, but those are the, basically the main ones that I saw that could probably have a lot of effect on people's lives, especially if you own an iPhone 5S like I did. If you have any questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Also, let me know some of your favorite jailbreak tweaks so I can put them in the next video. Maybe I'll do the same type of video for another phone, who knows? But definitely hit that like button if you guys enjoyed this video, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it means so much if you guys could hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel, all those links are linked down below. I'd really appreciate it if you guys would check it out. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.